Pain here was just uh, Ido and Terror Bear. Oh, um, and Void. Well, no, I actually ne didn't meet Void until uh, KCON. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so Whoa. Uh, we got that Protect coming out from Renz right at the beginning of this game. Okay, can we just talk about how they struck to Lilat for a moment? I guess it doesn't. I'm it doesn't. Sure it doesn't Renz hurt either of these characters. These characters have good recoveries. I'm but sure I mean, Renz loves the stage. I mean, really? like Pikmin toss covers the whole map when it's right. in your favor. You're right. But if well, all I was thinking was if it's not in your favor, doesn't the Pikmin just like fly into the the ship? Like yeah, and then it comes right back to you in two seconds. You're so. right. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this works out. Oh see, my boom, god! I Luma. destroy Luma. So we we got the debuzz special going on right now. Whoa! Is this stage actually good for killing Luma? Because like the edge of the stage is kind of like tilted a little bit. So uh, I don't know. I'm actually, not sure. Because I know there's a lot of times when trajectories that have killed Luma will actually land. Oh on the my god! Luma, you need to chill. You need to chill, Luma. We were trying to have a conversation. Oh, nice attempt there to, to combo that into a smash attack. But uh, what were you saying? So like, you are saying yeah. some trajectories. Yeah, sometimes like uh, trajectories that would kill Luma will actually um, it'll be saved on one of the edge on one of the further platforms, and it does okay. have a very wide base, so mid stage exchanges are less likely to kill Luma. Mm. Um, but you also have the advantage of if you have an exchange in mid stage, Luma can wind up on a platform, and then you have to recall it. Otherwise, it's essentially you have a brief amount of time without Luma to play. Okay, okay. Um, so it can work both ways. Um, obviously, um, Rosa has a, her own long list of Ooh. shenanigans she can pull here, too. Okay, Starbits is actually really this, interesting in this yeah, matchup. This it, is it completely walls out the Pikmin, and if they land on the ground, it's just like, let me spray you with these star Starbits real fast. Yeah, this is a... Um, this is a very important thing with, with Olimar matchup. If you have projectiles Ooh, that do nice. decent amounts of damage, like Korn's Neutral B or, um, or Star Bits, as we're seeing here, you can act nice forward smash. I mean, Pikmin is Pikmin, and Pikmin <laughs> is Punch, and Pikmin is Pain. Um, but yeah, you essentially can just spam your projectile and just... Oh my god. Ooh. That was really greedy by Renz no to go that high. Why would he... I, I don't know. I mean, he can do an aerial after, like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he, he was kind of like, that was just like... He was between a rock and a hard place, but it yeah. would have been better if he'd just gone for the... Uh, go gone for the ledge. Yeah, straight for the ledge, because he would at least... Worst case scenario... He oh would my gosh. Oh, Lilac, why? Yo, this man is an astronaut, and he did not... Yeah, so he upbeat on stage and then like nared off the stage. He, so he, he didn't touch the ground. What he did ground. is he upbeat over the ledge and he went for a nair to cover um, the ledge pressure. But the stage tilted, so he oh. nared past the stage and died. Oh yeah, Brigade, we take those though. Oh, yep. Brigade dabbing on stream. No, he was just wiping his lip. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, you're getting excited there. I think I think the dab is growing on me. The dab. Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was pretty 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 bad form before, but. I don't oh, there know. ain't nothing like dabbing on your opponent. Yeah. It's for all those Falco mains, spam that spot dodge. Oh okay. my gosh. So back to Lilat. Alright, evidently Renz was Renz was happy with how he'd been playing. He just didn't want to get cheesed out again. I mean honestly, he really only made one mistake and that was that one recovery choice. Yeah, he died at like what, like around ten percent. That was pretty pretty gruesome. Yeah. Yep. And the problem Ooh, is, that was... in order to prevent Luma from getting absolutely destroyed in this matchup, Riga is going to have to keep throwing out moves to clank with the Pikmin to prevent yeah. Luma from losing HP. So uh, Riga is going to have to mix up his... Uh, so so normally, Riga, I, I talked to him before this match and said you have to really mix up your how you get in on uh, Olimar because you can't really like get too close or you're going to get whacked away by Pikmin and your Luma's going to die. Mm -hmm. So I told him things like maybe a jump over with a, with a uh, down air. But it uh, looks like he found his way a little bit, his own option with just this uh, spamming star bits. He's uh, he's testing new ways just to win the neutral in this matchup, and yeah. that's good for him to figure that one out. Olmar's got one of the most difficult to deal with neutrals in this game because he, he literally never cares because he he almost always has the percent advantage, and he can th his all of his smash attacks are projectiles, so he can literally just sit there at mid stage or towards the ledge and just hang out there, always in the lead. And you always have to approach it. What I see happening though is Renz is getting a little too antsy and rolling into Brigade, or he's just he's just running into Brigade without a real game plan. Yeah, because if you're paying attention, uh, you'll notice that Olimar actually doesn't have the lead right now. Oh yeah, I was gonna say and that when... Brigade had to get away from that ledge. Thro throwing a, a purple will just destroy Luma on the edge, or like yeah. hitting a like a, a disjointed forward smash is gonna kill Luma. Because having, having a lead on Olimar is devastating, right? because then he has to approach and this neutral game starts to fall apart at the seams. 
That seems like that's like Brigade's game plan right now. Yeah, because honestly, as much as he loves his purples, he should probably get, I would say, get rid of them at this percent range. Well, not now because he has enough rage to mm. let Netta kill. Oh my god. Lulu, stop it! It seems like uh, Renz just doesn't have enough time to get a better um, Pikmin lineup because he had a red, a yellow, and a purple, and that's just not optimal. But now he has a, he has a blue and a purple, which yeah. are great. Oh, and he just lost his blue. He probably wants to get rid of this white, though. Yeah. I mean, right now, he's honestly oh. just going to look for the kill. He doesn't care about percentage. I'm percentage surprised he managed advantages. to snipe Brigade with that white one. Like, he was on the platform, and he threw it above Luma right onto Brigade. She is pretty tall, so... Yeah, those are the kinds of angles you can get on Lilat that are kind of beneficial. Because you can see he can alternate between the platform and the stage in order to hit you from anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, this is so interesting of yeah. a matchup, like, in the stage. Like, I would have never thought Omar would, like, try to go here. I mean, he is wearing a space helmet, so he'll live, but... No. Actually, they're both from space. Mm -hmm. Dang. Oh, yep. True that. All right. First stock going to Renz again. Yo, is Renz doing that so we can't see his, his Pikmin lineup? Oh, man. So smart, this boy. Oh, oh he got the hitbox extend on purple. Dang. That's that was, that was Sans Luma right there. Still murdered him. Yeah, it's not good. Olimar, too light. Yo. Olimar, with his back turned to you, is like a treasure. Brigade can just run up there for free and just like grab him. Like, what is he really going to do with his back turned to you? Uh, take no. two steps forward and then pivot pick yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or pivot, pivot, pivot grab you or something. Like, like Olimar's pivot game is scary. Like, what I notice is that if Renz is like, does have his back turned to you, he'll just shield like, What's scary though get out, every time roll away or something. When Renz is in the air though, that's when he starts to fall apart because his Pikmin game only works horizontally. Mm. So, and his aerials are passable at best. So um, once you get him in the air, you can literally just abuse him, especially if you're Rosalina. Yeah, and we're seeing Brigade just juggle him right here. Yep. He doesn't have like a downward answer to even, I mean, who, who really does have a great downward answer to Rosalina up air? Like, yeah, Cloud's down air maybe? I don't know. Not even, I think, it depends. I think with Luma, Rosa wins. Mm. But even then, it depends on the spacing and stuff. It's, it's very particular. Brigade's actually really, he's, he's being very cautious on his landing right now because he sees two purples in the lineup and it's quite scary. Even though it won't kill him at this point, it'll yep, deck him really hard a, like that. Yeah. Kill percent. Oh my god, the buzz! If Brigade had actually used his double jump and followed him, he probably could have hit him with the back air yeah. for the kill. That was that was really scary. But I mean, how are you going to really know that's all happening? But like I said, Hawaii needs to start to react better to situations. Gets oh, the jab pressure, follows it up with a down tilt. If Luma was detached right there, he, he could have gotten it to the down tilt to the up smash. All right, fourth throw. Now the question is, how is he going to react to this? Oh, Brigade. Lilat saved him so up, oh, and he lost his Luma. Okay, good grab there, waiting for Brigade's landing. I don't know All why right. Brigade didn't go for the ledge in that situation. He's got uh, a All right, purple in the lineup. We're pushing Rosalina off stage. This is a really scary situation for Brigade right now. You see Renz just trying to keep the stage pressure and then punish, trying to punish whatever option Brigade goes for. He had the read there, but didn't commit Ooh, properly. He almost killed Lumina. I don't know why it didn't actually kill Lumina, because he down smashed it. I have no idea. I don't know, physics um, are too weird. But Renz is keeping this, this ledge pressure super hard and just dead. Oh, that was bad DI. He probably thought... Yeah. No, that that was blue. That was blue. 107 Rage on 115 target. Okay. And it's Rosalina. And Rosalina. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's... now that we're finally not on Lilat, let's see how this game is played. Yeah. So good stuff. 1-1 one, one right now. Yeah, I think I think Renz is definitely definitely feeling pretty good about this right now because the first game yes. he made he had an SD and he made one mistake. Second game he corrected himself and won. So he's definitely got the the upper edge right now going into this game. But uh, even though he doesn't have the counter pick, yeah, I going SDing in the first game is just like ugh, it hurts pretty bad. Yeah, it does. So um, Brigade's where do you think uh, where do you think Brigade is going to want to take this? Okay, so not a stage like Duck Hunt. It's way too far, too, way too much running away from Olimar to get his perfect Pikmin lineup. Um, yeah, Renz is probably, I would I would anticipate a ban onto Town, most likely. Yeah, because he's going to get juggled the hardest there, and he could die earlier. And Dreamland. Okay. Okay. So not as good for Olimar's battlefield because the platforms are up a little higher. That stage is like low-key, super scary. Like nothing changed from Brawl. Like just don't take Olimar to battlefield unless you have a <laughs> godlike platform game. I'll let Corrin. <laughs> if your platform is game is not as good or better than Corrin's, then you just don't go there. <laughs> um, 
yeah, the subtle differences, but like obviously this this stage really resembles Battlefield, but there's there's so much subtle differences. Like it's a complete different stage. What is this aggro Ren's going on right now? He's, he said I'm He's sick of this garbage. Him. I'm sick of this game right now. He's just sitting there like, all right, I got a 63% lead. Nah, I'm just gonna dial it back a little bit. Check Pikmin. Yeah, do he what I do best. He's getting rewarded for his high aggro play in the beginning of this match. Yeah, because it, it, it gives him an enormous amount of working space. I wonder so what Brigade's doing. He's, he's he's busy killing these Pikmin in not even an efficient way, and while he's taking damage and letting Renz get his perfect Pikmin lineup, like yeah. he doesn't have it quite yet, but this is what he's working on. I know DeBuzz. Um, DeBuzz likes to use up air to clean off Pikmin because it's um. It has the least amount of lag and kills them the fastest. Really? Yep. And since your moves don't stale on removing Pikmin anymore, you can just do it as much as you want. And, fun fact, if they try to mess with you while you're removing Pikmin, you get hitbox extend, so oh my God. It's, you don't want to mess with it. You just want to let her clean off the Pikmin. So okay. completely... Ooh! Ooh! Geez. A complete game shift from earlier. Brigade uh, got a few hard reads, and now Renz is fighting for stage control. And you, yep. you can... Oh my... He's, he's just being too aggressive at the ledge right now. Yeah, he needs to just get on the st stage. Uh, like, he, even he could even like jump off the ledge and go for like an air double jump air dodge. To just try and get on stage. Like, honestly, he would have so been important. better off as soon as Brigade started charging the forward smash. Instead of trying to beat it with a Pikmin, he should just let go of a ledge and just up the top platform. Mm -hmm. Get away from that situation. Yeah, worst he would have eaten oh, would have probably been a sour up air, mm -hmm. which wouldn't kill him that percent. Brigade and Ren so close right now. And just a note earlier, you saw that when uh, Brigade lost Luma, he instantly went to camping. You can see how good Luma is in this matchup of yeah. uh, just like having a body in front of him. Ooh, that was a meaty hit to Luma. That seems like Luma's kind of getting a little low on HP right now. Not maybe okay. about half. Oh my god, the buzz, the buzz, the buzz! Oh, okay, oh, wow. okay, Renz gets out of that situation. <laughs> no, the debuzz is when he kills him at zero. <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. I just see the up air pressure and I think of the buzz. Oh, Renz with a smart roll behind. Yeah, roll okay. behind, down smash. Brigade uh, kept him on stage with those uh, star um, star bits to try and make an easy recovery. But it was a bad Pikmin toss and he almost paid for it with a stock right there. Brigade didn't punish Renz's landing right there with like a dash attack or anything. Looks like he's just he's too he's really focused on getting him back. There it is. All right, percent advantage back in Renz. Renz's side. So in the long run, Brigade will have to approach, but it's not smart for him to do so. Yeah, Honestly, with I mean the game the game is only halfway. Clock's only halfway done. He should not be playing aggressive. It looks like Brigade is just waiting for Renz to commit he, to something. Like, as oh Luma, he, as, oh. uh, as Rosalina. The gentleman? Almost. Oh, my. oh that, and he just goes out there because he that knows that really bad whistle. Renz can't really do anything. He, he should have just... He I know he just didn't, away. He didn't expect for that pressure to come right underneath him, but he should have just kept an air dodge ready to go for in case like all that pressure came right at him.